365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you each day. You've got mail from God by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come, join us to see what God has for you today. Today is June 1st. 2022 and today's devotional title is God is here before we begin let us pray dear heavenly father we thank you for this day we thank you that you've woken us up thank you that we are reading this devotional may we learn something and spread your word to others that don't know you in Jesus name we pray amen this is the last chapter and the last verse of the book of Ezekiel and it contains a wonderful promises for the people of that time and of course all times is the promise that the presence of God will forever be with his people. This promise was given at a very appropriate time when the people of Israel were at their lowest spiritually and as a nation. Consider the following historical facts and you'll realize the value of the message contained in this verse. After the reign of King Solomon, the nation of Israel was divided into two kingdoms, the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah. Israel was conquered by the Assyrians in 722 before Christ and Judah by the Babylonians in 606 before Christ. The result of this consequence was destruction, exile, and the enslavement of the people in enemy territory the prophet ezekiel was taken captive during the last invasion of jerusalem 10 years before the city was completely captured and the temple destroyed the people of judah remained captive in babylon for over 40 years after the final blow because the temple in jerusalem had been destroyed 14 years before ezekiel had this vision the people thought there was no way god could be with him then in the same way Ezekiel had spoken about destruction and ruins 25 years before. He was now sharing prophecy of hope and comfort. God comforts Ezekiel and the faithful among the exile by showing the prophets a vision of Jerusalem restored, a city with a glorious temple where the sacrificial system is resumed. Ezekiel sees the glory of God returning to the temple and the climax of the vision is the Lord is here. Centuries later, the temple was restored and Jesus Christ walked in. Through Jesus, the promises was fulfilled because in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead. Today, the promise is still valid because he lives in and with us throughout the Holy Spirit. Finally, we believe that very soon God will reveal himself through Christ's second coming. Today, God says, I am here with you. I am staying by your side every moment. My presence will go with you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you because you are always with us at any time, at any day, 24-7. We thank you because you are always protecting us and your presence are always always with us oh lord we ask you that you help us become better christians better persons better sisters and brothers to the people that don't know you oh lord so that way you can also be with them and they could feel your presence in your name we pray amen